Good morning, welcome back to episode 4, day 4. It's 5.25, just got the water and um, almost ready to go. Let's see what we can get today. We're going back to the route of day 1 with one or two slight changes. So we just got to the gate, waiting for the gate to open. So let's see what happened yesterday and uh, let's take it from there. So there's a lot of activity down in the south again and uh, that's definitely the route that we're going to take today again so we're going to go from Pretoria Skop that's here all the way up and then come down come down and then we're going to go to Bergendal we'll do a quick fill up of the uh, petrol there as well and then we'll start the loop in that area where we were on day one and depending on the time we'll then head back to see if we can still get something on the main road to Pretoria Skop later in the afternoon so let's tackle this guys and let's see what we get. So the game rangers or whoever is running the gate decided to uh, give us three minutes earlier. So we left three minutes earlier, that's nice, so we can get on the road quick. And uh, doing a bit of a mad dash to get to the Bergendal area as soon as possible. We made a decision not to stop for too many animals that we've captured already, unless it's a leopard or a lion. The rest we've got a fair amount of already, so um, let's go chase them. As you saw there now, the hyenas in the road, um, as we said, we decided not to really stop for footage except for lions and leopards on the way to Bergendal. So uh, while driving past them, it was nice to get the camera going down, down low just to get a different perspective on it. So uh, let's hope for more. Looking at the sun coming up, it's going to be a scorcher today. It's been warm already when packing the car to get ready and everything so uh, yeah it's not as nippy in the wind as it was the last two previous days so they talk about 32 real feel it's gonna be fun Got to pass eight. We're now on our road to Bergendal, but we took the off road, the gravel road to S120. So it's up a hill, down a hill, up a hill, down a hill. And I've never been in this area before. And I must be honest with you, the Kruger is not just about the wildlife, it's it's about the the flora as well. And if you look at the surrounding area here around Bergendal, it's beautiful. Uh, these um, hills and dales 
what can I say? It is it's awesome. Do yourself a favor, come to the park, come visit this area and and really look at nature and not just the, the game specifically. So we've arrived at Bergendal, a 100k trip to get here with all the zigzags that we've done and going up the mountain and down the mountain. Didn't see a lot of animals. I'm slightly surprised to see as little in this area specifically. Um, Bergendal is quite beautiful. Birds are very noisy. Just uh, took some footage of a water buck at uh, the dam. And uh, yeah, so we're just going to do coffee only now and then off to do the other route when we get past Malalang. So keep you posted for what's happening next. So we just left Bergendal on the way to Malalan and on the big copy just next to the road, it's about six, seven hundred meters perhaps, maybe slightly more even, was a herd of buffalo on the copy. And uh, thanks to the lens that I'm renting from lensrent.co.za and using my Canon 1.4 extender, I could actually get close enough to get some decent video footage of it, uh, as you just saw now. So uh, once again, if you need a long lens or any other type of lens to do photography, look at lensrent.co.za, the website's down here at the bottom as well, and support Anton. Thank you.
So right behind me, we just saw a rhino. On the way, it looked like a small baby elephant and something just said to me, stop. Let's just make sure, turned around, actually reversed and then waited a while and the rhino appeared. Got some stunning images of it and um, I'm just glad that uh, we've now seen one that although it's been dehorned already it's not one that we saw that, that just woke up so it's someone it's, it's, it's one that's in the wild at the moment and not being dehorned and drugged when we looked at it the first time so I'm happy let's get to the bird eyed
So just after one, we just got here to Offsol and um, had to do the loop break. And instead of having lunch, we had a brunch at Bergendal. So we're going to do an ice cream. So we're on the S23 and uh, just saw a mom, elephant and a little, little, little baby. I don't think that baby is six months old. Got some stunning footage as you've seen now. It is crazy nice. Sorry, this uh, corrugated road is just going a lot louder than I thought it would be. Yeah, I think I can actually make a second uh, YouTube program just about the elephants in the Kruger you will never have a problem getting elephants there's enough of them they make good footage and I hope that the ones we are sharing with you that you like it so I was busy taking a video of a spider's web I just love the spider's web, especially with the sun shining through it. And uh, the next minute there was this elephant on the right hand side, which we never actually saw. And uh, the elephant was playing with the water and it, it just made for such beautiful video. But then an unfortunate thing where, if you do a self-drive safari, you want to take photos or video or whatever it might be, there's always that one or two people in the park that's not considerate towards you. And they would just not care and drive through while busy shooting the animal and actually just hinder you or hinder the animal and, and that makes that you don't get the shot that you were busy with. So just remember that as well, that unfortunately you are in other people's hands as well when doing a shoot. So when doing your self-drive, take that into consideration that you've got other people on the road that might not want to take photos and video of the animals and to them you're just a nuisance as well.
back at camp 11 hours 235 kilometers one kilometer more than yesterday and day four is done i tell you what it was hot today and was it not for this long sleeve shirt that is specifically for hiking purposes i would have died in terms of sunburn on my arms while shooting with video and camera for photos i must be honest with you when you come to the kruger doesn't matter if it's summer doesn't matter if it's winter make sure that you've got sun protection number one and sunscreen and then long sleeve shirts where possible even as a man i must be honest with you the sun has been harsh and skin cancer is not a good thing either so protect yourselves make sure that you've got everything going your way in terms of all the protection as well as not feeling too tired because of sunburn afterwards